I want to thank everybody for watching crypto revolution we talk about everything crypto almost daily jump in right into the market today in crypto bitcoin daily chart we need to talk about the red line of resistance again time and time again bitcoin's got rejected except for once where the price action broke above the line and then was rejected so again multiple attempts at breaking this level multiple failures now is the price action trying to put in a double bottom which is a bullish idea in order to work higher and potentially touch the upper trend line again that's the question and so we're going to dive deep into some lower term time frames to see what we do not want to happen okay and this is basically make or break for bitcoin right here this is now there's a bitcoin eight hour chart so here you have your higher high which was part of this double top which clearly got rejected. And then we nailed the move to the upside, which became a rising wedge. And now you have volume and then you did get a breakdown, right? So at this point, you've got a high, a low, and then this is a lower high. The price action couldn't, it could continue higher, right? You, the bulls must push this price higher. And otherwise you've got hidden bearish divergence all over the indicators okay so this uh, hidden bearish divergence occurs in a downtrend uh means that the downtrend will continue so if that plays out and you get the significant move to the downside i mean you're talking easy 16,400 16,200 16,000 as possible okay and so again this would hurt all of crypto this is a bitcoin cme futures chart and this is what the stock traders trade and this is a two hour Time frame. What you've got here is a ton of chop, but the hopium for the bulls is that they can flip and hold this red resistance level that has been so hard to break. So can the bulls, and remember, the price action is going to do what most people don't think they, they least expect, right? It's been tough to break above this level. Now, we're not going to predict it, but I would open longs based on a bullish retest of this idea because you'll probably run up here to 18,400. Okay. So, but until then, you assume that it doesn't and it breaks lower and it just rolls over and you get downside out of the price action. Okay. But it's plan A, bullish retest, go long. Plan B, short the rejection. So you got a big week in news coming this week, end of this week. FOMC minutes, which is basically a detailed documented idea of what exactly was talked about during the FOMC meeting. And so it's gonna really give the market a vibe for what Fed is going to do to rates. Again, everybody's counting on a 50 basis point rate hike. It's, it's not good for the market, but if it's what the market expects, it can be kind of like a sideways movement, right? So again, not amazing for the market, but if the market, the stock market expects it, then it may not be that negative. So again, that's just how this works, right? It's always, it's all about market expectations. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person started with $2,000, ended up with $400,000, it's 200X. He didn't have any trading knowledge at all, but he was really good with fundamentals, which is fundamentals are important. And he combined it with trading in TA and he 200 X his money, 200 X. This person made $10,700 on a trade. This, this person looking to retire, he turned $87,000 into $800,000. It's almost 10 X, say nine X. He's a doctor helping doctors retire because we hit the bangers banger after banger after banger got an elite team finding these setups and we're killing it we're going to finish off this special new year's discount today over the next 24 hours anybody that wants 200 dollars off six months or 12 months or if you want to renew early you get 100 dollars off for the next 24 hours and then it's done it's over had so many people rejoining the group coming back to where the money is made we're going to continue the discount 
I'm gonna make sure you're in the best setups, period. Go over to my website, cryptorev.net, join. If you have any questions about joining, send me an email, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. JP Morgan, remember they have $3.9 trillion in assets under holdings. And they come out with a multi-page metaverse document that basically pushing metaverse on their shareholders. They talk about how we see companies of all shapes and sizes entering the metaverse in different ways, including household names like Walmart, Nike, Gap, Verizon, Hulu, PwC, Adidas, Atari, and others. Talks about how $54 billion is spent on virtual goods, almost double the amount spent buying music. 60 billion messages are sent daily on Roblox. They create $80 million GDP for Second Life was about $650 million in 2021 and nearly $80 million USD paid to creators to create for Second Life. So right now, non-fungible tokens have a market cap of $41 billion. 200 strategic partnerships to date with the Sandbox. Remember, Sand. Actually, we nailed an amazing short on Sand. They also have Warner Music Group to launch a music-themed virtual world. Bottom line is, JP Morgan has a lot of pull with investors. And they are pushing Metaverse. So don't get... I know Bitcoin's down. Okay. Not amazing. But when you're looking at what coins to pick up, you're going to look for solid metaverse projects. This thing turns around. Near. So I posted a near short idea. What you have is, is near has a token unlock. And that happens today. So you got 9.86 million near. It's not the biggest amount. And if Bitcoin does break to the downside, you've got 1% of the supply that is being unlocked. And you could see. Obviously, the sell, people would have the ability to sell the coins that have been locked. And so that's the near news. Now, breaking Sam Bankman Freed, he's pleading not guilty to all the charges dealing with FTX. He says, no, nope, didn't do it. None of it. We'll see how that turns out. I mean, you guys, he, 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 he's got to say no, at least at first to get some kind of deal. Uh, you'd have to assume. November the 16th, I posted, I'm sitting all cash. I'm waiting for Bitcoin to give me some clarity. I'm sitting on the sidelines. It's very effective strategy for me. Works perfectly, gives me some downtime to relax, enjoy, heal. You know, I've obviously went through some tough health stuff this year. Def always appreciate everybody's, you know, reaching out and comments and, and you guys keep me going. I keep you going. We work together. We dominate. It's going to take a little time, but we're here for each other. I don't trade Bitcoin shop. I'm not trying to give back any of my profits. However, I am watching for the next exchange, project, et cetera, to falter. And I'm going to talk about an idea where this might carry over to end of the week downside for Bitcoin. And so we'll look at that idea in just a second. But when I talked about the next exchange or project, et cetera, to falter, here is an idea. We talked about Gemini, how they have this open letter to Barry Silbert. And basically they said, hey, we got 340,000 earn customers on, on Gemini. They're looking for answers. They lost all their money. They had $900 million just gone, poof. And Barry Silbert saying, no, nope, nothing's happened yet. So the, write this down, the date, the deadline, Gemini, DCG, Genesis, deadline, January the 8th. I want you to remember that Grayscale Holdings made up of ETC, Zen, BTC, ZEC, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, listed twice on accident, MANA. This is a grayscale holding list. Okay, this is what they're holding. Now, my question is, what happens to all these coins when Gemini, and this is worst case scenario, worst case scenario, Gemini forces Genesis trading into bankruptcy because they owe $900 million. Genesis bankruptcy will then trigger the liquidation of DCG, Digital Currency Group's assets, and later bankruptcy. What will another bankruptcy, what will Grayscale's bankruptcy, DGC's Grayscale position, GBTC, 
will be at risk of liquidation and this will cause panic in the market. Again, so this is the one factor we need to consider that if it does play out, how are we going to act? And what are we gonna do ahead of time? Sometimes, again, some people say, Chris, don't talk about this FUD, but hey, we nailed Luna. We nailed FTX. We nailed so many projects right before they tumble because of insider information. We get the news from the source, period. So this is something you have to be aware of. The date is January the 8th. I'm and I against DGC and Genesis. This Tesla, they lost more than $600 billion in market cap in the last 72 days. This is not $600 billion in market cap. That's worth more than Toyota, Ford, Volkswagen, Porsche, Mercedes, BMW, and General Motors combined. What do you think the main reason for the retracement is? There's a lot of reasons you could probably explain the, the hype run up rally on, on Tesla, like everybody was super excited. But my question is, do you think any of this retracement has to do with what Elon Musk is doing on Twitter? I'm just curious. What do you think? Anything? It is what we didn't want to see. You've got a bullish break of a downtrend on the dollar. And we said, what would happen if this breaks to the upside? If you get a break above this level, break and flip this level, you already broke out. You already broke out. You get a break and, and flip and you get upside continuation. This is going to put strain on the stock market and on crypto and I'm looking for downside. And if this happens, pain will come back to the markets. This is the total altcoin market cap, total two, right? So all top 125 large caps. This, we talked about this falling wedge and the falling wedge did break to the upside and it's headed higher. But again, the most important thing is you don't wanna see it lose this level. Otherwise you're looking at 13% pullback or more out of all the altcoins put together. So this is gonna call the move today. As soon as ES1 opened, you saw this hard rejection to the downside. And what did Bitcoin do? Bitcoin did the same thing. Got this falling wedge with a bear pennant in it. However, there's a 68% chance this breaks out to the upside at some point. Room for another drive lower. So does this break out later? And put in another lower high, meaning there's a lower low potentially later on. So we're watching the ES1, very critical move coming. I mean, you're running out of room here. You're running out of room. So look, over the next 24 hours, looking for a move out of markets, Bitcoin, altcoins, stock market, major move coming over the next 24 to 36 hours. So make sure, pay attention. When I post my next video, be the first to watch it like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.